What's up you guys? Ethers Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. Hopefully you are doing well. We're in a new season. It's spring. Everything is starting to revive itself. Trees and everything starting to grow. So hopefully you got new energy coming in to your life. So this reading is who's down bad without you or who's doing bad without you. So take with a plot, leave the rest. I don't know what's going to come out. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old, for supporting the channel. Thank you, guys. And then, for the visitors, welcome. Return the visitors, welcome back. I always seem to get distracted by something. Um, I have three pals. Before I say that, the timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. So you have pal one, pal two, pal three. For some reason, I feel like giving you some crystals. So, you have the amethyst for pal one. For pal two gonna have the green aventurine and then for pal three i would do the jade so pick your pal or your pals and i see you in pal one pal one if you pick this deck or the amethyst this is your reading shout out to you guys hope all is well hopefully this reading is useful to you you could get some messages from this or some insight subscribers new and old what's up with you guys shout out to you guys hopefully that you guys are clearing some clutter being that it's a new season and you know new energies is coming in but beyond that the title today is who's down bad without you or who's doing bad without you so i'm gonna give you some descriptions of this person could describe you or could describe them or could describe both of you guys so let's get started. This person likes to go by the middle name. This person have a pet or have had a pet or they like animals. For some of you guys, this is a person that you are in a relationship with. This is um, energy as well as friends. This is energy as, this is overall all type of energy blending in. So this is a lot of messages for a lot of different people. Somebody here could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Shout out to the Aries. It's your season. Somebody want to send you a message, and they want to tell you that they're sorry. So this is describing this person who's down bad without you. And why they down bad without you? For starters, they're sorry. I don't know what they did to you, but this person is very sorry. Some of these people, this is future messages. Some of you are not going to resonate with this because it says your first kiss would be in a year from now. So some of you, this is going to be future energy coming in the future. For some of you, you already had this kiss with this person and you no longer with this person. Now, the reason why this person feels, um, hold on, hold on, I'm being distracted. Hold on. Okay. Sorry for that. So the person that's feeling down bad without you or who's doing bad without you for starters, this person could have ghosted you guys. Some of you could have been ghosted. And when they tried to come back, you wouldn't let them come back or you wouldn't pay attention to them because you believe if somebody ghosts you, they need to remain dead because, you know, you're not going to chase any immature person and you don't want to be around any immature people. So they are doing bad and they down bad because they realizing that they can't be back in your life anymore. Some of these people were aggressive towards you or they was just very tyrannical and had a very bad attitude when they was in your company. And the reason why this person was like this is because they don't know how to express their feelings. Some of you are a type of person that are very loving, very caring, very nurturing. So this person didn't really know how to get on your level or they didn't know how to meet you where you are. Some of you have no problems expressing your feelings. And this person clearly couldn't express them, their feelings. And this person is kind of immature. Whoever this people or person is for you. They're quite immature emotionally. For some of you, you outgrown this person as well. It doesn't have to be the same person that ghosted you or a person that, you know, you was in a relationship. But whoever this person is for you or people for you are, because it could be a group of people, you outgrown these people. They are not moving in life. They stale. When I say they stale, they do the same thing every day, day in and day out. If this was a friend or a lover, I don't care who this person is. You open this person's eyes up to a world that they didn't know. 
You made them feel things that they have never felt before. You've made them experience things they never experienced before. When this person was in your presence, they was going the right direction. Some of you were the actual compass for you guys. Like they, some of them didn't have to do much. You just helped them out. Some of you thought for this person or people. You was just like the leader of the pack or the leader of the group or the leader of your friend or however this plays out. You had them in the right direction. Whatever you used to tell them or help them with led them in the right direction. And it says you opened my eyes up to something I've never seen or felt. So some of you guys definitely was somebody important to this person. And right here it says gift. So you were a gift to these um, people. And when I say a gift, people probably be like, a gift? What do you mean gift, gift, gift? People like... No, when certain people come in your life, it's a gift. And I believe that you guys were a gift. With this energy coming out, you were somebody that was supposed to help this person or people on a path. Because you have changes here. Changes is all about metamorphosis. It's all about um, spiritual leaders, spiritual guides, all of that as well. So you help these people go through their spiritual awakening for some of them. Now that you are no longer around, they're down bad because... They don't feel free anymore. They don't feel like they can bet on a self. They don't feel like the full energy where they could just take leap on a self or whatever creative thing they want to do or just making them feel good about themselves. They have nobody there to do this for them anymore. You was quite a rebellious person for this person. And when I say rebellious, rebellious in a happy way and in a healthy way. Like you could be healthy... A person that's rebellious and happy and healthy. Like a person that's happy and healthy and rebellious is a person that don't care what people think. They're secure and confident in themselves and they just rely on they self. They self-assured. This person could have been a happiness hater if you was in a relationship. They didn't want to see you in a relationship. Some of these people that are doing bad without you or down bad without you could have caused you to break up from a relationship that you were in. Another thing, these... um. Whoever this person was or people, I'm going to say again, person or people, I'm going to keep saying that because it could be a person or people. Your creativity, they was banking on it. Some of these people or, per, or, or person was stealing your creativity or they was just kind of, how can I say? They was like baby impersonating you. They want to copy your, they want to copy you. They want to feed off of your energy. They want to steal your ideas. So some of you had to let these people go for that in and of itself. They wanted to steal from you. They were envious of you. They were immature emotionally and spiritually. Now, for the ones that's in um resonate with the relationship, why they down bad and stuff like that and doing bad without you, this person looked at you as perfection. This person thinks that your beauty amazed them. And they don't know how they attracted someone like you, but they're forever grateful. Again, with this, they don't know how they attract somebody like you and they forever get grateful. You were a gift. You were like, it was like serendipity or it was, it was in the cards for you guys to meet. But this person wasn't meeting you or stepping up to be in your presence or they wasn't maturing fast enough. And it says not the right time. I am overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or the energy for a relationship. So some of these people, actually, you could have been someone that was supposed to grow old with them. Or some of you could have been a power couple with this person. They didn't. They felt that they didn't have time for you. See, what sometimes in life, people always have this expression, well, the right person, wrong time. It's never such thing as the wrong time. The universe do not line up things in life to happen. Especially with the right direction in this compass right here. The universe do not bring people in your life for you to think the wrong time. Right person. No, they bring you in your life. It's perfect timing. It's called serendipity. But another reason why people or a person is doing bad. If it was a group of persons. Say for instance, you was it's, it's not a love situation. Say for instance, you had a plug. You're no longer dealing with this plug. You walked away from the plug for whatever bad reasons bad drama bad relationship this person is now budgeting say for instance it's your child and your child was living with you and they didn't have to pay bills now that they are not around you they have to pay bills or they have to budget because now they're not used to paying bills they're not used to budgeting their money but now they're not around you for your help and your direction 
and your good old energy to help them stay on the right path, now they're budgeting for money. If they were in a relationship with you and they live with you as a, a lover, they're doing bad because now they have a problem with making money and ends eat. Eat. Somebody having a hard time finding food. Somebody can't, don't have money to really eat because I didn't mean to say that. I want to say this person don't have the, um, the money to make ends meet. Like they're trying to stretch money that they don't even have. And another reason why these people are down bad without you, you see the depths, they drowning. Again, you was the right direction. You was the compass. You was this person. You was a part important person in this person's life with this gift here. It's very, it's just drilling in with this gift. It's like the universe just handing you a gift, this person, right? And you did the person wrong. So now this is why they down bad. Somebody birthday could be on the 17th of any month or born and they could be born in August. Okay, so the initial C, M, and E could be important to you. Let's get to your deck and start clarifying. Then I'm going to pile two. Gatekeepers, why is this fire sign doing bad or down bad without um, this person? That's, wait, what I'm saying? Why is this um, fire sign down bad? Judgment just was here. So the universe is drawing, um, calling judgment. And, um, yeah, it was called, <laughs> why I'm just started getting distracted. When I seen the judgment card, the judgment wanted to jump out. So the universe called judgment. If you were a gift to this person and with the changes and everything, you can't stay stuck with a person like that. If you're supposed to help somebody and they're not accepting your help, the universe is going to take you, put you on another timeline to help somebody else with the changes. And that's half what the judgment, the judgment will call. Judgment, a realization. You have to wake up. This is not happening. I have to take my child and take him to somewhere else to help somebody else. This is why this person is doing bad. Now you have the seven of wands and then you have the three of cups. So this person is doing bad because you are blocking yourself from this person. You're no longer partying with them or giving them any energy. You're no longer collaborating with them, whether it's partying, business deals, helping them out of their problems. You're no longer collaborating with them. Now, back to what I was trying to say. Gatekeepers. Somebody heartbroken. This devil is heartbroken. The deck just keeps stopping me. So this devil, somebody could be a Capricorn or a Cancer, they're heartbroken. They're, they're devastated. This person could be a fire sign with a Capricorn or Cancer moon or Venus, somewhere in their chart. This person is heartbroken, and this is why they want to tell you they're sorry. This person said something to you or betrayed you or talked reckless to you a multitude of times, and now they're sorry for that. Gatekeepers, why is this fire sign down bad without the collective? Seven of Swords, this person was a deceptive person and it fell right on the depths. They are drowning in the words that they said to you. They are callous, cutthroat words that they say. Very cold and callous this person seemed to be or these people seem to be. Now they are drowning because now they have to eat their own words. It's like their words is betraying them. And with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords I just showed you when I said they hurt, it was a painful ending here for some of you guys. This person feels very hurt. Very hurt. The fool on the bottom. This is with that foolish energy that this person partakes in. Now that they have to swallow their own words and this foolish energy they was partaking in, this is why they down bad because they was being a fool. They was being very naive very immature. Gatekeepers, what is this message about? What is um, this person that's doing bad without power one want to tell them? They want to have the strength to come talk to you. They want to they wanna apologize for trying to overpower you, for being aggressive with you, for being arrogant with you, for being reckless with you. Because this card is all about the strength. And this strength card is when somebody tried to overthrow this person, do you see the teeth in this um, animal's mouth or this creature's mouth? When that mouth clamps down on that person's face, they're going to realize that they're not so strong. And this is what this card is about. So somebody took your kindness for weakness. You have the page of swords that popped out. You have the two of swords and then you have the six of pentacles. 
Somebody tried to breadcrumb you. Somebody tried to breadcrumb you when it came to a relationship. Could be a love relationship. Could be a friend relationship. Could be a family relationship. Somebody tried to breadcrumb you and make you feel less than and then spy on you to see how it's going to make you feel. Somebody here tried to trip at your, at your, um, at your self-worth. Because you're a person that have self-worth. It seems like over here with the gift and all of that, this energy. I already know you guys have self-worth. This person tried to tear you down a peg. Instead of them trying to rise up to where you are, they tried to tear you down a peg. The high priestess on the bottom. You are blocking yourself from this person. So, this is what I've got. This is the person down bad. And this is why they down bad. You have the knight of cups here. Somebody want to bring you an offer, apology. Want to come talk to you, play nice with you. So if you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe. Till next time in Tarot Land. Pile two, if you pick this deck or the green adventure, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. And the title is Why Are They Pressed or Down Bad Without You? Shout out to my subscribers, new or old, for supporting the channel and coming through and holding up vibes. Yeah, if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back so you guys i'm gonna give you some oracles describing this person could describe you or it could describe them or both of you guys so this person has a unusual hair features they could dye their hair different colors have dreads have bald spots they just have unusual hair features for some of you um for some of you you not talking to this person you ghosted this person you just not even in a proximity anymore this person like to wear two rings frequently. They have a three-syllable first name, like Christopher, Christina, Claudia. This person is a person that comes from America or a place, like, yeah, from the States. They're not somebody from the islands. And this person has severe allergies. Or if they're from the islands, this person don't speak with an accent. So let's start getting to why they down bad and doing bad without you for some of you guys this person let's see where i'm gonna go with this i'm gonna i'm gonna go here and then go around the reason why they down bad with you because whether you're a friend a lover a family member you are somebody who have a one in a million mentality you are a type of person who don't think like the average person you are someone that's like a person who bring things to the table not everybody in a person life brings something to a table like Friends that be around. Some people just be around just bullshit in time. But you are somebody who is very creative. Someone who could bring talent to somebody or help somebody nurture their talent. You are divine energy. Some of you, whether you're divine feminine or masculine, you're divine energy. Some of you are very spiritual. The reason why they down bad without you because you are somebody that's pretty priceless. The energy is here that you are pretty priceless. And this person tried to... Have you sacrifice your integrity and they had to learn that you're not sacrificing your integrity for nobody but this person who feels this way feel like you're eye candy so you're very pretty to them you look good you smell good confirmation without a horn in the background and you captivate this person this person have a lot of attraction for you this person could be a scorpio or aries shout out to the aries it's your season yeah this person have a lot of fire that burns for you very attractive to you very assertive and direct with their passionate energy that they have towards you so some of you could have had sex with this person or they want to have sex with you the reason why they down bad because you close out the cycle with them you're no longer talking to them you close the cycle out or well, not even you the universe closed the cycle out on this person so you no longer on a timeline you're no longer talking to them and that forced them into their shadow side this hurt this person with this moon energy this could be a pisces or a virgo a capricorn or a cancer and then you have the scorpio energy here too so this person could be a taurus as well so strong water and earth sign here they down bad because they look at you as a main female somebody that nobody can't like stand next to in a way you have if it says divine energy one in a million main female you eye candy you very captivating yeah some of you guys are the one that got away and this is why they down bad they can't understand how you guys got away from them. This person could be sarcastic as well. And I didn't even tell you the um, oracles over here. But it's Pisces over here as well. Well, Page of Cups is Scorpio. Again, strong 
water energy and earth energy. But this person could be sarcastic or you somebody that could be sarcastic. You're very pretty. Some of you have short, coofed hair or like to wear pixie cuts. You have blonde hair or some of you have very long hair and you like to keep it up in a bun. This person know they missed the opportunity. When they were around you, you made them feel free. Some of them could be Aquarius or you could be Aquarius. Some of you have a, a rebellious energy that makes a person just feel liberated. This is why they down bad because the people they're around are stale. And on the same thing, they don't do nothing. They do the same thing day in and day out. This person is feeling quite bitter right now. They have bitterness, bitterness towards you because they know they made a mistake. But this person is so like arrogant and bitter that they can't even come to you and apologize to you. Some of these people are quite immature that I'm talking about. This person likes to play victim. They like to act like um, nobody understands them or, you know, they're always the victim in a situation. They get mad. They like to spew hurtful words and stuff like that. Some of them wear top hats and like to wear wife beaters. Another reason why um, for you guys in this group, some of you could have taken a call back from somebody or they was, they called, was repo. This person that's a drama starter and that's very bitter and immature and insecure. Some of them had a car repo and they can't get any money or any help from you to get their car back or even to help fix their car. Some of you could be mechanics. There's something going on with money here because you have spending, you have negotiating, and you have overtime. So it's what energy I'm getting from this, it's like this person now have to work very hard to get money and this energy is kind of coming from power one. Shout out to you guys who went to multiple pals. But yeah, this person have to work overtime now. They have to do a lot for money. Some of you were helping this person out with money. Some of you actually ne negotiated on loaning this person some money for their bills. Because there's a lot of bills. This person always behind in their bills. And they never paid you back. They down bad now. Because you're not going to loan them any money anymore. And for the ones that are in a relationship, this person feel like you are their favorite. No matter if you have broke up 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it says you are the person I want to call when something good or bad happens to me. The first thought when I get have good news to share to a person. And this person is, again, very sorry. It's coming from power one, a little the energy, some of the energy. It says, I'm sorry. I hate how much I hurt you. I'm sorry for all the pain I caused you. You didn't deserve any of it. So, yeah, this person is like remorseful. Because they can't be around you anymore. They keep as clarified as drama starter. Why they down bad without pal two. Whoa. Nine of wands, page of cups, and the sun. This person was defensive towards you. Or this person made you put up your defenses towards them. Some of you could be pregnant by this person. Or very, um, not or very. Some of you could be pregnant by this person. Or had children by this person. They down bad because you holding back your love from them. You no longer celebrating with them. You no longer want to be around them. This is being shown to them. It's being revealed to them because they're very immature. You busy creating and um, partying and celebrating with other people. Why this is how they try to make you feel initially. This is why they down bad. Because again, this person is a bitter person. So this person want people to feel scared or try to intimidate people. But it seemed like you guys weren't intimidated towards this um, from this person or by this person. Clarify this overtime spending. The three of swords in reverse. Three of swords in reverse is somebody coming out of um coming out of um coming out of pain. But it seems like you guys are coming out of pain for what this person has said to you because he flew over here with the hurtful words and the bitterness and the resentment. Some of you don't even care about what this person said no more. You don't even care what they say. Their words don't affect you anymore if they ever affected you before. So now they down bad behind that because they used to be able to bank on, be able to get underneath your skin, but they can't get underneath your skin anymore. The devil on the bottom. The devil showed his face in power one. Person wanted to keep you trapped. Clarify this moon. And I was looking at the moon when I wanted to clarify the devil. And the devil is the moon energy. Clarify the moon. Why they down bad? The fucking devil jumped back out. I'm, yo, you can't make this shit up. You cannot make it up. Look, the lovers and the devil. 
This person is down bad because they tried to make you feel like you were less than. They wanted you to feel like shit. They wanted to trigger you, bring up old childhood trauma in you. They wanted to um, play on your conscious mind, try to give you things, act like they have everything and anything you want. And this was a friendship or a lover that did this. They feel like they down bad right now. This is somebody that was very close to you. Y'all had a strong bond, a happy bond. But this person brought this devil energy into it and ruined it. This is why they down bad. I'm going to clarify this real quick. Clarify this lovers. Why they down bad for power too? This is the type of energy, if it's a friend, like you were two peas in a pod, but you came from two walks of the, two different walks of the world. Say, and I'm going to just use this. And this is just... Right now, in this time and age, it doesn't mean anything, but I will use it because people will understand. Say, for instance, a person is black, a hill, a, a black person, and a person is a white person, a white hillbilly person. You'll be like, what are these two people doing together? But you forged a bond. Y'all were very close. This is a person that's down, down bad, this devil energy. Because you are, oh, it says one in a million type of mentality. So if some of you formed a bond with this person, and they can never find a friend like you. With your divine energy, one in a million type of mentality, could never. If it's a, a relationship, could never find nobody who would please them the way you please them. Sexually as well. With this devil and this attraction, if you had sex with this person, they could never replace you. I don't care how many years it's been. I don't care. They down bad for that reason. Clarify this devil. The Queen of Pentacles, you sensual, you sexy, you grounded, you sit, you sit on your throne, you smell good, you look good, <laughs> you're nurturing. Oh gosh, they down bad. I feel energy, they down bad. Three of Swords back on the bottom, but now it's upright. This person's hurt by the shit that they said to you, the way they treated you. And this is why they down bad. Like and subscribe if you've got something to it. Going off the power three. Power three, if you pick this deck and this jade. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. The reading today is titled, Why They Down Bad or Doing Bad Without You. So, if you are subscriber, new or old, shout out to you guys. And hope all is well with you. Hopefully, you could get some messages. If you are a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, let's get to it. I tried to get some oracles. To describe this person, I was going to say it could describe you or it could describe them. Only two popped out. The other pals, a lot popped out. This pal, two popped out. And one of them come from another pal. I'm not going to tell you which pal. But it come from another pal. So if you've been called to go to another pal, go to another pal. This person have been hurt, extremely hurt in the um, past by a loved one. And they have a pet. Now, why this person is down bad? Um, hold on for a second. Why is this person down bad without you? Is because this person is trying to fix themselves up for you because they believe that you deserve nothing less. So you left this person. You don't talk to this person. You don't want to be around this person. This person is down bad because they stay guarded with you and they regret it. They wish they never did that. And they yearn for you. They soul yearn for you. Another reason why they down bad behind you and without you in, your, in their life. This person is a type of person who don't know how to grab life by the balls. You guys are go-getters. You grab life by the balls. Again, this energy is in another pal. I'm not going to tell you the pal. This person think you're a great team player. Some of you guys were supposed to, if this was a love relationship or a friendship, you guys were supposed to be together. It's precisely if it was a love relationship, you guys were supposed to be together and supposed to build something. You guys were supposed to be a power couple together. Hopefully, I'm not triggering you guys. This person think your body is snatched. And this person, with the loving you is easy in reverse, this person can't love you at all because they don't love themselves. This is why they're trying to fix themselves up because they think you deserve nothing less. This person is down bad without you because you helped them with it, when it came to life, whether you're a friend or a love relationship or a family member. You're no longer around them. But for the ones who are in a love relationship, this part person is really attracted to you. they mad that they close their self off to you. They yearn for you. They soul yearn for you. And look at this over here. I've never had a reading where I said you guys were supposed to be together and build something together. 
you have twin flame and soulmate. So I already know for some of you who were in a relationship with this person, it was a very intense relationship, deep. You who are mirroring souls, some of you could have been like some um, opposites of each other, like a Leo and an Aquarius, a Aries and a Leo. I mean, an Aries and a Libra. This relationship was to force um, this individual to grow, but they didn't want to grow. And this person with this soulmate, it says, it must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. So this person is down bad because they feel like you belong together. This person miss you very much in every pal. It came out how they sorry and they miss you. They miss you. They want to be with you. They wish things were different. This person have mother wounds. My mother is the influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges connected with the divine feminine energy within me and externally. This go for men or female. This person don't know how to show love. They don't know how to be vulnerable. They are immature when it comes to that. And their mother is the one that caused this because they must have neglected them or hurt them or did everything for them. It's either no in between kind of with that. It's either the mother did too much for them and put them on a pedestal and made them like a princess. So now they don't know how to tap into their feminine energy or they was even neglected, and now they don't look at feminine energy as a good thing. They look at it as a bad thing, so they walk around masculine and everything. Now, these cards jumped out together, which is quite crazy. It has divine feminine, so they down bad because you are the divine feminine. Soulmate, twin flame here, you are the divine feminine. But this person broke your heart somehow with all the drama they brought into your life. With them being immature and bringing this drama into your life, they broke your heart. Some of them um, had a broken hand, or somebody here have a broken hand, but now they down bad because they're going through karma. they paying for this. They have to pay for this. They have to pay for their actions. Some of you are, like, really spiritual with this soulmate energy and this twin flame. I already know some of you guys in this pile is very spiritual. And then this card popped out, out of my cards. It says... Right-handed witch, a witch that practices magic that is guided by social norms. So this person is down bad because, and this is not a card, my card. This came with a, a deck of cards, so I just kept it. This person is down bad because you used to guide them. You are, you are spiritually guided. Some of you are clairvoyant, clairaudient, or one of the clairs. you very psychic, have psychic abilities, and used to help this person. Confirmation with that horn in the background. You're no longer there to protect them. They don't have no protection. And it was conflicted and confused behind you. But now they come into the realization that you were in this person's life for a reason. Some of them like to drink a lot and go to bars and drink a lot. When they drink, they blow hot and cold. This person liked to have multiple choices if they was in a relationship. They act like they was uncertain and unclear about you. But they damn sure clear now because they miss you bad. Now, how they down bad for the ones with job um, issues, some of you help them out with resumes or help them get a job or whatever, but now they're stuck in an entry-level job. Some of them lost their job, and they can't get another job. They're having a hard time finding a job, another job, but they overspend their money. And I'm not going to get to your debt, but they overspend um, their money, and now they need your help to get them out of that. Some of you loaned them money. So, like, you know, subscribe. This is why they down bad and doing bad without you.